it's almost like you're in space kind of i've obviously never been to space so <laughs> um. we're here in landlock colorado teaching kids to scuba dive and the importance of marine science and ocean conservation through a scholarship of a lifetime the arts, science, and technology at the Rocky Mountain Steam Fest, and today we finally get to get in the water. Pool training, day one, starts right now. Josh, coming from like freezing cold snow to luxurious tropical temperatures in here, I'm ready to get in the water. <laughs> Before you guys get in the pool, your masks are probably going to be dry. So what you want to do is put a little pea-sized drop of defog in and squish it all around the glass. Okay, so go ahead, put your wetsuits on, and then hit the showers. You guys need to rinse off. A lot of time just playing in the pool just to sort of break the ice so to speak and get them in the water and happy so they swim around for a while then we practice their snorkel skills knees grab put your face in the water let your snorkel fill with water and push all the water out go ahead and try deep breath in So we have a broad range of skill and ability here. Some of the kids have never been snorkeling or had a mask on. And so really what we're doing is we're starting with the basics. We're getting them comfortable with a mask on their face and breathing through the snorkel. We're just working with a graduating comfort level. We're getting them used to their snorkel and mask in the shallow end, and then we're working our way deeper. And eventually we're going back and forth and back and forth. and. You get the idea. Make you feel I guarantee so live for music, love for music, music is So you think about aerodynamic in the air, right? Airplanes and birds, how they're built. It's really similar in the water. You think of a fish or a shark or something like that. They're very hydrodynamic, right? So they're like built for going through the water. So we're not. <laughs> we want to act as much as we can like we are built to be in the water, that this is where we're supposed to be, right? So staying as streamlined as possible. We did a lot to just to get them comfortable being in the water, being in their gear. They did their first giant stride today just with their BCDs on. Andrew and Krasna, I'm gonna have you guys put your fins on. You guys are gonna go first. I didn't think it was gonna be that scary. When I went in the water, like, yeah, at first I was like, oh my god, like, the deep end, because I hadn't gone to the deep end yet. So what you're going to do, you're going to come up to the edge of the pool with your toes hanging over the edge. You're going to put your right hand on your snorkel and on your mask. You're going to put your left hand on your BC buckle. And they're going to step into the water and look straight ahead. It was just crazy. I was just like, I'm swimming with my fins, and I had like the whole suit on. I had to, it was just it was so surreal to me. I was like, I'm really doing this. Like with any sport, when you're a diver, learning your gear is second nature is really important, especially in an emergency situation or gear malfunction. You want it to be muscle memory, so you don't even have to think about it. You just She's really putting the kids through the paces. Kathy is a great instructor, and she is making sure that the kids have good habits and know what they're doing right out of the gate. 
And then we started doing our scuba skills. They did a partial mask flood. And they learned how to let all the air from all the spots out of their BCDs. Then they learned how to clear it by pressing the purge button. Purge! Masks on! Everything is in! Let's go down! Alright, let's go up. about my mask but I hate when it fogs up and I can't see and then I also wear contacts so kind of mask clearing at times if I like forget to close my eyes all the way or am I if I'm a little late to close my eyes water gets into my contacts and that hurts a lot I'm sure it'll just take practice and I'll get used to it like it would like what is it called like my station to my station to was Cooperating. <laughs> it would be like a pain like in both of them and then I would go up and then I would do it and then it would feel fine and then I would go back down and I would go like halfway there and then it would start hurting and I would try to do it again but it would just start hurting. Tell Thank me you have the best instructor ever. I have the best instructor ever. <laughs> <laughs> so after practicing some of the skills in the shallow end, we turned the kids loose to the deep end to just experience breathing underwater freely. sick for the past few weeks. I was kind of bummed because I had to miss my scuba class with everybody, so that was kind of a bummer. I wish I was scuba diving right now. Rather be in the pool with my scuba stuff on. Tomorrow well, is our first in pool class session, so I cannot wait. That's going to be amazing. Wow, that's so weird. Like. I've never done that before. I'm still like trying to grasp like, well, I can breathe underwater now. I was like, okay, don't panic, don't panic. But it's fun to just like relax and be like, everything's all fine and just, just take it easy and have fun. Hey guys, we're just leaving ocean first. Officially finally had my first pool day. Woohoo! Like, I really like it. And I went and I did that. And I did okay. I'm really happy that my problems aren't something bad, like I can't breathe underwater because thankfully I can and everything seems to be going smooth other than really the mask, but I'm sure I'll get used to it and um, hopefully it'll be fine. There's always room to build and that's cool. I'll let you guys know what I did today. Bye. <laughs> you gotta make sure you come back next week for our dive in the shark tank. For real, it is awesome. You don't want to miss this one. You got the... oh, All right. All right, I'll come in. Actually, I like that shot too.